rugby has been all my life. Since I've been five years old, I just want to be on that pitch. That was the worst mistake of my life. I just started my rugby at Merrill's for the Merrill's Minis when I was just coming out of nursery. Just being at this club is just unreal. It's difficult to explain because if you don't actually come to Merrill's and play for Merrill's, you don't understand the actual bond that all the players have. And Merrill's brings us all together. If you play for Merrill's, you're part of, the, part of the team, part of the family. Played all the way up through the age groups and then I represented the borders on the 16s, 17s, 18s. I played a few sevens tournaments. Uh, when I was 17 and then moved up to the first team when I was 18 years old when I made my debut for the first against Peebles. Last year I was involved with the Scotland in the 20s and then the ban happened. I think the modern day demands of the game are, are size and bulk and you know Sam had been told by a number of coaches that yeah he wasn't big enough, he, you know, he had to put size on and and um, you know so you know tried and tried and, and never really managed it. I've been getting under pressure to say, oh, people, like, you've got skills and stuff, but you just need to put on weight, get bigger, get bigger. And I just, one day, I just thought, I'll take what my friend's taking. I didn't look into it. I didn't think about it. I didn't think what I could do to my body. That's the, that's what I was, like, I was going to do to myself. Like, that's the, like, how much I wanted to go to that level. Just, I didn't think about it at all, like the effects that could hurt me. But when you want something so bad, you just you do anything. There's a supplement called Pro SD. I actually ordered online. It's only £27. It comes to your front door. I was taking it for a week. It was only a week. That order was the worst mistake of my life. It's having a diabetic. It was affecting his, uh, his body. And um, he stopped taking it. And, you know, if he had kept taking it, then it might affect him quite severely, physically. All it says is three capsules a day. Not much else than that. So I uh, went to the gym, gymmed hard. Didn't see any gains at all. So I took it for three, three times a day for a week and then felt really bad after that, so I came off it. Just made my blood sugars go really high and just up and down, up and down, and get stomach cramps as well. It just really messed me up, actually. My name was uh, called out. Things were going through my mind. I wasn't sure if it was a banned substance or what was actually in it. Is it legal? Is it, is it cleaned? Well, I was so nervous. I remember it well. I was at the rugby club. I was just going to the gym and got a voicemail off uh, Richard McGee from the Scottish Rugby Union who uh, deals with this kind of stuff. And, uh, he was like, uh, you failed the doping test, you need to get back to me urgently, this is a very serious matter. And I can remember his exact words. I just, I went to the, up the stairs in the change room and just lost it. Just, someone like, been taken, that's going to get taken away from you, that's, it's your life. It's, it's just nuts. It's, like you can't, I can't really explain it that well, it just broke down. It was a real shock getting a phone call from Sam. It was obviously something serious that he wanted to tell me, and uh, you know, I hoped that it w was going to come to nothing, but uh, you know, it, it didn't, and uh, you know, he's, he's, he's living with the consequences. From the start, I just knew I'd tell the truth. That's what, that's what I was going to do. I was I couldn't live with myself. I'm quite an honest guy. The IRB and the World Anti-Doping Agency. They were good with me, they, were, they said, that's all you can do. But at least things, black or white, you fail a drugs test, you get a ban. And that's, I suppose, that's, that's what it has to be. So you can't, people can't take drugs in sport. This was a year for it to be involved in the Scotland in the 20s. 
hopefully it'll be a real opportunity for him to be involved in that this year um, and get a and get a start in place. But he's missing out on that because of his, uh, you know, stupidity, naivety, um, whatever, you want, whatever you want to call it. It's just a bit of a space missing in my life at the moment. Tuesday, Thursday night, when I'm in the house watching TV and out there training, no matter what the weather is, it was snowing, rain, hail, you just want to be out there. It's just, you don't realise how much you miss something when you actually lose, like, until you lose it. And that's kind of how I feel at the moment. Being sort of isolated, uh, having to train on your own, you can't, you, know, you can't train with the team, you can't do weights with, with the team. You've got to do it individually, which is it's tough. It's frustrating. That's the main thing. It's, you just want to be there. You just want to be involved. And you feel a bit left out. It's difficult to watch a game and knowing that you can't play. Of course, I wish I could rent, rewind back the, the clock, but I didn't know what I was putting in my body. That's the thing. Which, nowadays, you have to know everything that's put in your body. You just have to be aware what's banned and what's not. There's a right way of doing it, and you know I think that's one thing I would recommend to anybody. You got to talk about it. You got to talk to your coaches, your parents, nutritionists. You got to get the right advice. So many things are get contaminated, and and you know people do t end up taking the wrong things at times accidentally. And it's so black and white. It's a black and white business uh, taking drugs. And whereas Sam's might seem a foolish, naive mistake, um, you know he, he would punish the same as an Olympic gold medalist. The be all and end all is not to be big and massive bulky. Um, I think you know be able to do the basic skills really really well. Do it pass with your left and right hand and kick with your left and right foot and tackle and doing all these basic things are, are far more important than having massive bulging biceps. Hard work just beats everything. There's no shortcuts in rugby. All the players that have gone pro have worked hard and they've made it to the next level. I, I cheated, I, I took the easy option. You just can't do it because it'll come back to bite you. <laughs>